Happy Monday, everybody, and thanks for tuning in to Toys, the Universe, and Everything. This week, we're playing Crossbow for the Atari 7800. So, is Crossbow worth adventuring with? Is the evil master the evilest of all masters of evil? Is anyone else a little more freaked out by the goofy end boss than if he were a scary-looking end boss? Well, like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and let's shoot it if it moves. Except for the people who clearly have no idea the danger they're in. Released in 1987, Crossbow is a home port of the XD arcade game where you play the part of an off-screen archer with a crossbow who must protect a team of adventurers as they slowly walk from the left of the screen to the right of the screen. They will be attacked by everything, including frogs, scorpions, comets, volcanic rock, ghosts, monkeys, toucans, witches, wolves, pterodactyls, alligators, archers, dragons, magic statue, and the giant, giant face of the evil master. Maybe if he had a friggin' shark with a friggin' laser beam, he would be a more successful evil master. Am I right? Right, okay. This game can be played with a light gun or a joystick. Be aware that a light gun only works on a CRT television. Ask your parents, kids. And yes, the adventurers in this game appear as helpless as the baby from the NES Baby Boomer game. Even the ones carrying weapons show no interest in protecting themselves ever from anything. What strikes me as crazy is that Atari, who loves to explain every crazy game scenario ever in their instruction books for other games like Tower Toppler, Fatal Run, Midnight Mutants, fail to explain why you need these clowns along on your adventure. They do nothing. They are the fifth beetle. They are Snarf to the Thundercats. They are Orko to the Masters of the Universe. They do nothing. It would make more sense to say that they are blind tourists and that you must protect them on a sightseeing tour of Middle Earth. In the meta gameplay terms, they represent your lives. And when you lose your last blind tourist, the game is over. Shooting everything else gets you points. I know sometimes this feels a little paint by numbers, but the music and sound in this game is sparse. I feel like the limited sound really undercuts the tension in this game, and many moments almost come off goofy because of the limited sound effects and lack of music in this game. What is here isn't offensive or annoying, but it could have and should have been uh, more. Even for the built-in sound chip, uh, this game cries out for the digitized voice sampling similar to what the Gauntlet series utilized or the original arcade game that it's based on. Visually, this game fares a lot better. The graphics are fun and imaginative. I really like the interactive environments like the drawbridge and the ice caverns. Uh, the final scene with the evil master looks goofy as any scene I've ever seen in a video game. But I can't deny it looks impressive and adds to the fun of the game. It's a shame that the shortest path to the final screen avoids the village because that is one of my favorite screens to look at. The gameplay in Crossbow is as basic as it gets. That isn't to say it isn't fun. Crossbow lives in the genre the 7800 does best, arcade ports. Yes, the gameplay is singular in concept. Yes, you will eventually see all the game has to offer. Yes, even then, it's still fun, because unlike many modern games that rely on a compelling story to sell audiences on a flat gameplay experience, Crossbow has a weak story, but relies on actual fun gameplay to give the gamer a compelling experience. Uh, the concept is simple. Shoot things. The only real dig I have is that with a joystick, I'm not fast enough to protect my tourists from the evil master's hail of projectiles at the end without losing somebody. I'm not sure if a light gun fixes this, but I imagine it would. I never thought I'd want a light gun for the 7800 considering how weak many of the other zapper titles are, but Crossbow makes me want one. So, should you go adventuring through auction sites and retro shops in search of Crossbow? If you're just going to play this on a modern TV with a joystick, this is an arcade light gun game. You should know that going into this. It does support joystick play with a reticule you aim around the screen. Even played that way, I still very much enjoyed Crossbow. It isn't super expensive. I'm guessing the reason this game doesn't get much water cooler talk about being a top tier 7800 game is the fact that it is best played with a light gun on a CRT. 
Even now, I'm guessing that many 7800 collectors still don't have light guns in their collections, but probably have this game. I think with or without a light gun, this is one of the premier arcade ports on the system. It does some really impressive things visually, it accurately ports the arcade experience to the home screen, and most importantly, it's fun. So get Crossbow. It is absolutely one of the 7800's best ports, and it's not on either of its 8-bit contemporaries, the NES or Master System. This is an arcade port exclusive to the 7800, just like Robotron 2084 and Pole Position 2. Now I just need a home version of the arcade crossbow light gun. That would be awesome. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and no matter what your questions are about toys, the universe, and everything, remember, the answer is always to have fun, and if your friends are this clueless, maybe you shouldn't lead them to an evil lair. J just saying. Until next time, everybody.